Hello, my fellow scientists. I'm Peter Allen, and I am back with another episode of the Allen Lab. <laughs> I've been working on the iron battery with Nico's help, and as well as a new graduate student named Deepak, and we are making slow progress on the iron battery, but I don't have much to report on that today. Instead, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of articles that I've found that I thought were really interesting. Uh, the first is about Kikulin, which I may or may not be saying correctly. Kikulin is an odd organic molecule with a whole bunch of what look like benzene rings, but they don't end up being shaped like benzene. They end up distorted. And a careful analysis of the molecule and its bonds would tell you that they might be distorted because there are a couple different ways it could be arranging its electrons. But what I think is really interesting is that the group that synthesized Kikulin and then analyzed it actually took a microscope, pointed it at Kikulin, and looked at the atoms in it, or at least looked at the electrons around those atoms. They took a photograph with a special atomic force microscope of this molecule to see if their theory about how the uh, electrons would arrange themselves would be correct, and remarkably, it worked out. So just remarkable stuff. So in other unrelated news, I've been reading about a aging study that uses DNA methylation to track age. And it's one of the better biological clocks out there, originally discovered by Horvath. Uh, essentially, DNA, as you get older, accumulates these methylation modifications on the DNA. And the idea that DNA has been methylated has been known for a long time. It's fundamental to epigenetics, the study of how genetics changes uh, over the course of the life of the organism. But this particular pattern changes really coherently with age. So different people will have a very similar pattern at different ages uh, very consistently from one person to another, which is really wild. What's even more wild is a recent study actually looked at dogs and compared genes that humans and dogs have in common and looked at the methylation patterns with age. So, <laughs> so you know, dogs is seven years is supposed to be uh, uh, dog years, right? So one, one human year is seven dog years. But now there's an actual biochemical measure that can correlate human years and dog years. And it doesn't turn out to be a straight linear seven uh, seven to one ratio, it's a logarithmic pattern, which I really don't know why, but I think it's really amazing that DNA methylation patterns track human and dog age so well, and that the two mechanisms can be related so cleanly. So now there's a mathematical formula for dog years in terms of human years, which I think is pretty wild. Uh, matches up pretty well to different stages of human and dog development as well, which suggests that maybe, maybe this DNA methylation pattern has something to do with development. And then aging is just a side effect, which as someone who likes to read about aging biology, I find really interesting. So anyway, I hope you found that interesting. We will be getting back more toward the iron battery here in the next few weeks. I'll talk about some of the updates we've made. We're hopeful we're gonna be able to publish a update paper with a 2.0 new improved iron battery, maybe uh, early next year. And we'll, we'll talk all about that here soon. So thanks for tuning into the Allen Lab and we will see you next time.